The Desert Locust, a creature of seemingly insignificant size, yet capable of wreaking havoc on a scale that is hard to comprehend. For centuries, these insects have been a scourge upon humanity, their hunger a harbinger of famine and despair. They descend upon farmlands with a relentless appetite, devouring everything in their path. Their impact resonates far beyond the field, affecting livelihoods, economies and the very fabric of societies. From the arid plains of Africa to the fertile valleys of Asia, the desert locust recognizes no borders. Its reach is global, its impact devastating. History books are filled with accounts of locust plagues, each one a stark reminder of the destructive power these insects possess. In our modern world, with advanced technology and a greater understanding of nature's complexities, one might assume we have tamed this ancient foe. However, the desert locust continues to pose a significant threat. As climate change alters weather patterns and creates more favorable conditions for locusts to thrive, the challenge of controlling them intensifies. Understanding this formidable pest is crucial in mitigating its impact and ensuring food security for a growing global population. The desert locust, scientifically known as belongs to the order Orthoptera and the family Acridaidae, this places them within a large group of insects commonly known as grasshoppers. However, unlike their more solitary relatives, desert locusts possess a remarkable ability to transform both physically and behaviorally, depending on environmental conditions. In their solitary phase, desert locusts are inconspicuous creatures. They are generally a dull green or brown color, blending seamlessly with their surroundings. Their behavior is also subdued, with individuals showing little inclination to group together. However, when environmental conditions become favorable, a dramatic transformation takes place. Triggered by factors such as rainfall and vegetation growth, solitary locusts undergo a remarkable metamorphosis into their gregarious phase. Their coloration changes to a striking pattern of black and yellow, a visual warning to potential predators. More strikingly, their behavior changes completely. They become highly attracted to each other, forming massive swarms that can stretch for miles. The life cycle of the desert locust is a story of survival, adaptation and ultimately destruction. It begins with the female locust depositing her eggs in warm, moist soil. These eggs, often laid in clusters of up to 100, incubate for about two weeks before hatching into nymphs. Nymphs, though wingless, possess a voracious appetite and begin feeding immediately on any available vegetation. They undergo five molts, each time growing larger and more resembling their adult form. This nymphal stage lasts around 30 to 40 days, during which time they are highly mobile, hopping and crawling considerable distances in search of food. Upon reaching adulthood and with wings fully developed, the locusts are ready for their most destructive phase. Driven by an insatiable hunger and guided by environmental cues, they take to the skies, forming swarms of unimaginable size. These swarms, containing billions of individuals, can travel hundreds of miles a day following wind patterns and searching for fresh vegetation. The impact of a desert locust swarm on agriculture is nothing short of catastrophic. Their feeding frenzy can decimate entire fields of crops in a matter of hours, leaving behind a trail of devastation. Cereals like wheat, barley and rice are particularly vulnerable, but locusts are not picky eaters and will readily consume fruits, vegetables and even tree foliage. The economic losses caused by locust plagues are staggering. In 2020, a single swarm in East Africa caused an estimated $8.5 billion in damages to crops and livestock. This financial burden falls heavily on farmers, many of whom rely on subsistence agriculture for their livelihoods. The ripple effects of these losses are felt throughout entire communities, leading to food insecurity, malnutrition and social unrest. Controlling desert locusts is a complex and challenging task. Their ability to reproduce rapidly, coupled with their mobility and adaptability, makes them a formidable adversary. Traditional control methods have relied heavily on the use of chemical pesticides, often sprayed aerially over large areas. While effective in killing locusts, these chemicals can have detrimental impacts on the environment, harming beneficial insects, wildlife, and even human health. In recent years, there has been a growing emphasis on developing more sustainable and targeted control strategies. 
These include surveillance and early warning systems, using satellite imagery, weather data and ground surveys to monitor locust populations and predict swarm movements. Biopesticides, utilizing naturally occurring fungi, bacteria and viruses that specifically target locusts while minimizing harm to other organisms. Community-based management, empowering local communities to participate in locust monitoring and control efforts through training, education and the provision of appropriate tools and resources. The fight against the desert locust is far from over. It requires a multifaceted approach that combines scientific innovation, international cooperation and a commitment to sustainable solutions. Only by working together can we hope to mitigate the devastating impacts of this ancient foe.